Okay, so good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Hager Enclosures and Hager CAD webinar. Um, this is our fourth webinar in the EM webinar series, and today <clears throat> our um, product manager will be explaining how to take distribution planning to the next level. So um, sit back. I think it's going to be a very exciting 90 minutes. Um, we've got a lot in store for you today. My name is Karen Zotta. I'm the marketing manager for EM. And before I hand over to our presenter, Christo, I would just like to run through a few of the house rules and the how-tos of the webinar. So, Christo, if you can just pop to the next slide. Okay. Um, all right, so basically, at the, um, if you can please just have your 2020 EM catalog on hand. Uh, if you don't have a printed version on hand, you can download the digital catalog at www.em.co.za. Um, also, to reduce the chances of failures or freezing during the webinar, you, you'll notice your video and microphone have been switched off. If you, if you do have questions or would like to raise the comments during the course of the webinar, you'll see these three controls at the bottom of your screen. For general discussion, please make use of the chat function. Um, it's been circled in red on the left. If you wish to ask a verbal question, please um, raise your hand, and then what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll basically open the floor so you can physically answer your, um, ask your question. And then to direct all, all presentation-related questions, please click on the Q&A function. And then what we'll do is we'll either answer the question verbally or we'll answer it um, in the form of a text. Um, and all of these controls are at the bottom of your screen. The live webinar presentation recording will be emailed to the registered email address that you registered for this webinar. Uh, that will be sent out uh, later tomorrow. And um, we will also ask if you can please assist us with completing a webinar poll. This will take place at the end of the session, and this is just to help us improve our overall experience and just, um, just, just improve the experience going forward. Um, so now that the formalities are out the way, I'm very pleased to introduce Christoph van Rensburg. He's the EM Product Manager for Power Distribution and Enclosures and Climate Control. EM, um, Christo has been with EM for just under two years and um, comes with a wealth of experience. I'm sure you're going to enjoy picking his brain today. And um, so, yes, without much further ado, over to you, Christo. Uh, morning, Karen. Thank you for that. Um, for all the, the Matic people that's logged on, uh, I assume you all know what to do. When you miss your mother-in-law, uh, you calm down, you relax, you take a deep breath, reload the rifle, and shoot again. So, but on a more serious note, something that I did learn from my, my indoors was about service delivery. Um, while visiting my uh, wife, girlfriend at that stage, we would go out to, to dinner and on numerous occasions. Uh, my father-in-law will stand up, go and speak to the manager, Come back to the table and um, we will just walk out of the restaurant go to another one where the, the service is better and this is where i've learned about service at that stage I was still ignorant didn't understand about it didn't uh, actually felt embarrassed at certain stages for walking out of a restaurant but today i understand why that is so um if you're not a electromechanic customer um, there's nothing forcing you to stay where you are if you're unhappy with the service so join us and uh, I'm sure that you will be positively surprised about the, the service level that the Electromechanica can offer you. So I'm just quickly going to run through the, the agenda, explain to you what we're going to do and um, hopefully there's some stuff in there that you will find very interesting and uh, hopefully will entertain you as well a little bit. So just to prove to you that uh, assembling the Quattro Plus frame assembly is that easy that we're going to do a live show while I'm busy presenting it. I'm just quickly explain to you the enclosure offer from uh, Hager that's available through Electromechanica. I'll touch a little bit on some of the positives of each of the uh, enclosures, the Baker D, the Oreo Plus, Quadro Plus, Quadro 5. After the Quadro 5 um, panels that I've showed you, we will take a quick short break. I'll play you a video clip 
And then I'll switch over to Heike Cat, which is the um, design software from Heike to be able to build these panels. And I'll try and uh, do a live um, demonstration to show you the capabilities of this uh, software that uh, is freely available from our website as well. So for the, the girl in the background, um, Anneli, she's the uh, PA to the executives at Electromechanica. Um, she is newly wet, um, just before lockdown got married. She owns a drill, but uh, got limited DIY experience. Um, today will be the second time that she's actually assembling this uh, Quadro Plus uh, enclosure for us, just to show you how easy it is and that actually you cannot make a mistake in assembling the product. So the, the drill that you will hear in the background, um, hopefully won't be too loud and you will in, enjoy the, the assembling part of, of the process. So Anneli, thank you to you and uh, please make us proud. <laughs> okay, you can start. Um, so on the enclosure sides of the, the panels, um, I will only go through the panels that are uh, 160 amps um, upwards from the, or, from the Vega D to the Orion Quadro 5 and Quadro Plus panels. Um, there are also smaller ones in the um, Aker catalog. If you go to section H of it, you will see the, the smaller ones, the Mini Gamma, that's from a two-way to a 10-way, the Golf Series, um, which is uh, IP40 with the door on it, um, from a four-way up to 54-way, the Volta Series, that's also there, and then the vector series, um, all available in different uh, sizes. But for today, we'll focus on Vega D to start off with. So Vega D from um, unboxing it to have the final product, it's very easy to use it. It's flexible. Um, and when it's done, it actually looks very professional. Um, as you can see at the back of me, there's one with the door open. Um, that's already been built and assembled with products in them, um, very professional when, it, when it's done. So the, the Baker D um, distribution board uh, can take up to 160 amps, it's rated for that, Model K circuit breaker. And the reason that is possible is because of the DIN rail in the back of the panel that's actually adjustable that can move to the back. And then on the Molecay circuit breaker, you get what they call a DIN adapter that you can put onto the um, Molecay circuit breaker and then clip onto the DIN rail. What's also nice about the product is that if you would like to install miniature circuit breakers next to it, obviously the depth of the um, Molecay circuit breaker is a lot deeper than the one um, than the miniature circuit breakers. So you get what they call a DIN rail riser that will actually lift the miniature circuit breaker to the same level as the model case circuit breaker. So all your products will be on the same level once the, you've closed it. So the product is available from a two row up to a uh, seven row product, meaning 48 way up to 168 way for, for miniature circuit breakers. It is uh, IP30, IP30 rated without the door, and once the door is up, you can have an IP41 rating when the door is closed. Um, also a very strong, robust product. It's an IK rating of eight, which makes it very robust and strong. Um, so there's, there's a few different offers in the um, Vega D series available. You can have it as a surface mount distribution board, or a flash mounted distribution board. And in both these ranges, there's two formats of them. One that um, is ready for you to put in your miniature circuit breakers. And another one that's got a space opening for you, should you want to install something else um, bigger or maybe like a Moloke circuit breaker that you can, can install into the product. Um, in, in both or all four of these uh, different uh, products, um, they use the same door, so no need to worry about the doors. You'll see in the, in the presentation that the, the surface, the flash mount, 
the one that can take a molecular circuit breaker and the one only for miniature circuit breakers is the, the same door on a sensitive that will fit on the product. What makes it also nice is the, the fifth hole on the product that uh, allows you to hook it onto the wall and uh, get it level and then drill the other holes on the product. Because that's normally the problem. How do you hold up your panel, mark your holes, get it level, and do everything if you like one person? Then, if we go over to the Orion enclosure, the Orion enclosure is a IP65 rated product, um, IK10 rating, meaning it's even more robust, it's stronger than the Vega uh, D system. Um, also, very flexible um, in what you can do inside the product. You can have uh, adapter kits to put in miniature circuit breakers. Um, you can have chassis plates inside it if you would like to install um, maybe a PLC or a VSD inside it. It's also capable of doing that. Um, there's two formats on these uh, Orion Plus enclosures. You can either have it in a metal enclosure or you can have it in a um, polyester enclosure. I did highlight in the presentation the different sizes that's available, um, the different depths that's available. Um, so the depth is, uh, is preset on the product. Uh, so the, the bigger the, the product goes in dimension wise, the deeper it will also be. So if you have a look on um, page H15 in the catalog, you will see the different sizes, height, width, and the depth of these, these products. Some of the, the features of the, the product is that the plates are adjustable, as you can see in the presentation. Um, you can have the, the modular kits are fitted onto the, the pillars of the product, which makes it strong and robust to, to all the miniature circuit breakers in place. And it's also uh, flexible in the sense that you can actually add two of these distribution boards on top of one another and um, fit it into your application or whatever the requirements may be for the installation that you're busy with. And as well as on the other products from, from Hager, is that the doors are reversible. So what we mean by reversible is that the door can open from left to right or from left to right. Right to left, left to right, your choice. It's flexible, you just unhook it and turn it around and put it back in again. So I just want to see how Anneli is doing. Anneli? Getting there. Getting there. Okay. So as you can see is that you can't really make a mistake and uh, do the, assemble the product uh, the wrong way around. These uprights only go in one way. Then going to the, the Quadro 5 um, system. The Quadro 5 can accept model case circuit breakers up to 630 amps. Um, it is a pre-assembled uh, product, so it's not a flat pack like we will see in the, the Quadro Plus that Anneli is busy building. Um, so that you, what, what you need to add onto the, the Quadro 5 is the side panels and then obviously all the accessories and kits that you would need inside the panel. Um, as electromechanical, obviously it's extremely difficult to have keep stock on all the products that um, is available from Hager. So you'll see the, the highlighted, uh, the red dimensions in the presentation is the stuff that is available from, from Hager and is available to us as well. But as EM, we, we prefer not keeping stock on this. This is the, the lower volume stuff. But if you require these dimensions or these depth or heights of panels, we can always um, get them for you. Um, the floor standing 
distribution board in the Quadro 5 is uh, 630M at 35KA. So on page H6, there's something that I would like to bring under your attention, is that um, the FM205 uh, panel uh, does not come with the, the plinth. So if you want the, the, the FM205 um, with the plinth, you just need to order the plinth separately. The, the bigger ones, the, the, the one that's a little bit higher, the FM109 and 209, they can, they, they supply standard with the plinth um, on the product. So no need to order that separately. So the panel that Hanali is busy building is uh, the Quadro Plus system. Uh, again, this panel is very versatile, uh, easy to ship uh, for logistics point of view. Uh, of course, you can actually adapt it and build according to your requirements. And I'll, I'll show you when we do the HagerCAD software, how you can, can build this panel app from a, from a flat pack and all the flexibilities around it, from adding in multi-case circuit breakers, A circuit breakers, um, miniature circuit breakers, it's, it's all available in the Quadro 5 system. So the, the Quadro Plus enclosure um, is a 4000 amp 85 KA type tested enclosure. It's very suitable for the commercial um, sector, uh, very robust as all the other products from Hager. Um, we, or Hager is working on the um, integrated, uh, the Intel's segregation um, form factor 4B. Um, currently, it's available in a form factor 2B up to 1,600 amp. Form factor 4B type 7, um, I'm sure will be available by H1 uh, next year. So if you do have uh, worries about that, you can speak to us. You can always see what we can do to assist you in, in that. Um, obviously in HagerCAT, uh, form factor 2B is already available in that. And as they upgrade the products, uh, the upgrade on HagerCAT will also take place simultaneously. Um, the calculation tool, HagerCAD, is awesome to, to build your panel, um, and but we'll, we'll get to that and I can explain to you in, in more detail um, what it's all about. So, on page H8 in the 2020 Nature Mechanica catalog, we'll see we're putting this um, picture there, just to indicate to you what do you what's required to build a, um, the frame of the Quadro Plus enclosure. So you need the, the uprights, uh, the uprights, you need the, the plinth. Um, if you need the plinth, you need to add the side plates, the back plates, and then top and bottom um, entries as you require them. Also available is the, the doors. You can either have the, the metal door, um, as the one you will see in the the one that the uh, is busy building. And then you also get it in a, in a glass door, which also looks always nice and professional with the glass door in, in place. Um, as I mentioned, just some of the, the features of the, the Quadro Plus system is that the flexibility around it is uh, almost endless. Your Mosica circuit breakers can be fitted either vertical which is mostly the standard in South Africa. But if need be, you can also put your products horizontal with your cables then going to the side of the panel. Um, this is, uh, we do come across this once in a while, uh, not very often used in, in South Africa, but again, it, it's the capability of the product to be able to do that if, if you want to do it. On the, the bus bar side, um, as mentioned that the, Quadro Plus can go up to 4,000 amps. So obviously the bus pass system needs to be able to handle that. So there's a lot of 
um, options regarding your, your bus pass. So in the pictures, is that's what they call the transfer bus pass systems, which you can either go horizontal, vertical, or uh, even a combination of the two, uh, depending on the application. But besides this, there are also other bus pass solutions for smaller applications, 20 to 50 amp. There are also uh, modular bus pass solutions that clips onto Denrail for the, the smaller um, circuit breakers. So this, I'm not a uh, professional at. Um, still learning the difference between all the, the form factors. Um, so form factor 2B, as mentioned, currently is available in the um, Quadro 5 system up to 1,600 amp. Um, tested, everything done, certification is in place. And then, as mentioned, in uh, H1 next year, we will hopefully have the um, form factor 4B, um, type 7. Uh, I think all these tests have been done, they're just finalizing it from Hager's side. So hopefully we, will, we can introduce this um, in the new year. Um, just to show again the flexibility of the product is the different way you can put the panels together. You can either have them in a single line, you can have them in an L or a U shape. You can run the, the panels parallel with a corridor in, in the middle. Or you can have them back to back, um, what they call double coupling. So you have uh, two front faces. Um, an example of that is the pictures that you can see at the bottom is actually a project that uh, is busy, uh, our customer busy building for us. Um, it's got 17 panels um, joined back to back uh, with two sets of bus bars. So on the top, they will run a 4,000 4, amp bus bar system, and below that, Will be another 2,500 amp bus bus system for the um, emergency power. So, unfortunately, with Corona, we we little behind, little bit behind our schedule with this, but it's tracking very, very well. Um, so, this nice picture of some professional bus pass that was was, was done, um, and in the cat it will also give you the different options of the earthing systems, uh, TNC, TNS, TT, or IT, depending on the application that you, you want to use it for. Um, you can run up to three bus pass systems in parallel. Um, as mentioned, the one that we're currently busy with is running two bus pass systems for um, normal power and then emergency power, but you can also add a third bus bar system. On, on this slide, I'm not going to talk a lot about the, the different accessories that's available, but just to show pictures of a few of them, as mentioned, the different bus bar systems that you can have in the, the panels. The easy way it is to, to mount it, the screws are on the uprights prefixed, so with the uh, seal there on top, it actually keeps it from dropping out of the panel. So allowing you to be a single person assembling the panel, um, as you can see, which is suddenly busy holding at the back. Um, almost done, she's done the back place, did the plinth already. Now just hooking on the, the door, um, and uh, Hanali, no pressure, nobody's watching you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, so once Hanali is um, done with the, the assembly of the, the product, and I'm sure you would have enjoyed it to see how a uh, person singly can bolt the um, frame of the product, of the enclosure, and also adding in some products as well. Obviously, the, the wiring part of it is, um, will be, will be um, time consuming, but at least just to build the frame of the product, um, it's uh, easy. And again, you can swap the doors around, you can get it from opening from left to right, or even from 
right to left. That's all up to you. And uh, there we're done. Perfect. Anneli, thank you very much. Thank you. So what we're going to do is we'll be going into a break now, just a five minute break. Um, then during the break, I'll show you the, the video of how it's done um, professionally. And you'll see that there's not a big difference between what Hanley just showed you, uh, how easy it is, and the video that was done from Hager themselves. Uh, and then after the, the break, we'll come back and I'll go into Hager CAD and show you the capabilities of, of Hager CAD and, and please remember there you're more than welcome to post questions um, and we'll answer them to the best of our capabilities. So five minute break and uh, enjoy the video. Thank you. 
Okay, um, I think uh, the, the video is now complete. So we've got about another 30 seconds left before we uh, commence with our presentation again. Um, just a reminder on the control panels at the bottom, if you have any questions, please direct them to the Q&A at the bottom and we'll either, either answer them verbally or um, in writing. Alternatively, if you want to uh, direct any queries, you're welcome to use the chat as well or raise your hand if you want to ask a verbal question and, um, and then we'll, we'll either we'll, we'll unmute and um, allow the, um, you to ask your, your actual question. So um, we hope you've enjoyed the, the first part of the um, webinar to date. Um, as you can see, it's, it's quite um, simple and easy to, to build an enclosure and um, even someone who's used a drill a couple of times in her life and has, has, um, was able to do it. So um, this is um, quite, quite simple to do. Um, right, now I'll pass, I'm gonna hand over to over to uh, Christo, who will commence with the balance of the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Um, hopefully, uh, as Karen mentioned, that you enjoyed that and that you can see that it's actually very easy to to build the, the Quadro Plus system. Now that all the, the girls in the background is uh, out of the, the way, I can put my face back up so you can you guys can see uh, who's talking to you and who's the face on the other side of the screen. So I'm going to quickly switch over to um, HagerCAD, try and do a design in HagerCAD. Um, feel free to um, ask questions. If you want to see something specific in HagerCAD, I can always try and, and do that. We are a little bit limited on time, so hopefully I can do as much as possible. Um, will I be able to do everything? Most probably not. But let's see what, what we can do. Okay, so um, hopefully you can all see the, the screen now. This is what the uh, Hiker Cat um, looks like. The only thing that I pre-did to the presentation is I've started the, uh, I've started the project already. I uh, gave it a name. Um, so from here, we can carry on with the, the um, project, the start one. Uh, as you can see that the, the TD Description um, is the, the French abbreviation for distribution board. And uh, you can change that to your, your needs. Um, for example, you can actually delete the, the name. When you on your project name, you can actually then add in a new board and call it what you want. Um, if you want to call it uh, West Wing Distribution Board or uh, Basement Board or whatever you want to call it, you can, can give it a name according to the design that you that you need to work from. HagerCAD is a um, multi-entry point uh, software which designed your enclosure for you. Um, so it depends on where you would like to start the uh, design from. You can actually start from adding the material. So if a customer only gives you what he wants in the material list with reference numbers, you can import that into HagerCAD and then work from there. Or alternatively, if you get a design from a consulting engineer, which gives you a single line diagram, you can actually start with your single line diagram in HagerCAD. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll start with a diagram, um, explain to you how you can add the products. Um, if you make a mistake, yeah, you can change the product. Uh, so what you do is you, you start off the, the West Wing um, and you can add as many distribution boards as you like onto this uh, the software. So when you go to the diagram, it will give you the options of assisted single line diagram, 
um, assisted multi-line diagram or a manual uh, multi-line diagram. The, the difference between these uh, three options is that the assisted single line is purely what it says. It gives you a, a single line diagram. Uh, assisted multi-line diagram actually starts off in a single line um, diagram, but it also gives you a diagram where you can actually see all the different uh, phases of the product, uh, how it's been split up between all three phases. Multi, uh, the manual multi-line diagram um, is where you actually, when you're in your, your diagram and you would like to add in um, your own wiring system to that, I'm going to add in maybe wiring diagram for a, a timer via contactor that's being controlled by a occupancy sensor or even a, a day night sensor. Uh, that's where you where you do that. Um, to be dead honest, I don't work a lot in, in that part of it because I start off with the assisted multi line, do everything that I can, and if need be, I will only switch to the um, manual multi line. So. In the assist, um, assisted one, uh, it will start off asking you a few questions about your, your project, uh, what you want to do, uh, the size of it. Just keep in mind that HakerCAD software is not a um, electrical calculation software. It's a panel design software. So the information that you put in here is purely for, for reference purposes and for your information. So when you start off, you can choose your own title block. There's a few different ones that you can select from. Um, your personal preference, you can do that. Select any one that you wish to use. Go to next. Then it asks you about your um, circuit area symbols. Again, um, a whole bunch of different options for you to, to use. Uh, again, use it, uh, play with it, see what uh, suits your application the best. It then asks you about your um, heading sheet template. Uh, again, a lot of different options available for you to use. Um, on the, the incoming type, um, it asks you, is it a non-location application? So if you look at the, the first block there, you can ask, the, ask you different questions. Um, is it a non-project uh, non location? Is it three incomers? Um, do you know what it is? Is it a LV supply? Um, you can have all the different options uh, available to you. For this, we'll stick to an easy one and we'll stick to the non-project location one. You can also have it with different um, incomings. If you want to have another second incomer, uh, you can add that if need be. So if you want to add in a changeover, got a generator source there, and uh, it's, it's there for you to, to use it. Then it starts asking you about the, the earthing system, um, the voltage and the current rating, the fault level rating of your, your panel. Um, when you click on it, you get a drop down and you can select which one you prefer using. Um, are you going to use a three phase width neutral on your three phase system? Um, the voltage. And then the important one is the, the fault level of your distribution board that you want to use. Um, in this case, uh, I've selected 50 kA. Um, you can change that to 36 kA or whatever you want to be. Um, the, Current rating of the panel, I'm going to select uh, 4,000 amp. Uh, we'll see when we get there. Uh, maybe put in a, a circuit breaker or 2,500 amp or 4,000 amp. It's all up to, to you to, to decide. Once this is done, um, you will see it will give you a, a single line diagram. Um, so this is the, the way the power will flow. Um, through the, the panel from circuit breaker to circuit breaker. Um, you can add products here, remove products, uh, and do a lot of different selections if you want to. So once your HakerCAD has been set up, there's a few parameters that you can set and select if you want to change them for, 
for myself, what I prefer is having my catalog on the right side, where it's always available for me to use. So I auto hide it there, but you can keep it there if you, if you want to. You don't need to remove um, your catalog. It can always stay there for you. Then in the, in the catalog, you've got a few options there. So under Hager Guide is, if you do not know the reference number that you would like to use, you can actually go through this and um, Hager will guide you to the product that you want to install. So let's say I want to install a 2500 amp um, Holiday Circuit Breaker. You can go to Panel Equipment, Main Switch Gear, ACB. Now it will ask you, so what is the, the current rating of your panel? I want to put in a 2500 amp uh, circuit breaker. The size B is there in Hager's three different sizes of uh, their circuit breakers. So for the smaller ones, you've got a frame size A. Frame size B is up to 4000 amp. And then for 5000 amp, uh, they call it a frame size C, which is a lot bigger. You can select between fixed or withdrawable. Um, you can select uh, the fault level of the, the product. So on, on this is this is where the where it's fairly important to have the electromechanical catalog available um, when you start doing designs in Hager CAD. Um, in in Hager themselves, they, they've got a fairly comprehensive range of products. But again, to keep all those products in stock is a little bit impossible. Um, the variety and the different sizes that's available. So what I would suggest is when you do a design in, in Hager CAD, is to have the um, electromechanical catalog 2021 with you. Have a look at the products that we've got in, in here and try and work around that. Um, if there's instances where you cannot work around it, it's fine. We can always get the products from, from Hager. It's not uh, impossible. So you can then select your, in the selection, your fault level of the product, um, the vertical connection, you don't have a choice in this application, and then three or four poles. Um, I know South Africa mostly uses three poles. Some of our export countries um, in Southern Africa, they prefer four pole products, but uh, it's there, we've, we've got both of them. Then just keep in mind is when you select a product, you'll see that it highlights an OCR release here. So you cannot add this product um, when there's a highlighted issue here because this product cannot work by itself. It needs something else to go with it. Um, so the OCR is the, the trip unit that is um, inside the ACP. Uh, and again, there's, there's a big um, variety of them. So the one that Electromechanical um, have in, in this is what they call the LSI AMP unit um, that is uh, already in the product. So you can select the, the LSI AMP trip unit for your application. And then what you go is you go and say, uh, add it to your um, air circuit breaker. So if you want to add something more to the circuit breaker, you, uh, want to have a shunt trip in it, uh, under voltage relay, you want to uh, motorize controller on the product, you'll see in the accessory block here is all the accessories that will fit on that specific um, air circuit breaker. So you cannot select something that cannot fit into the product. So there's no way of making a mistake and ordering a shunt trip or a bolted case circuit breaker that you actually want to in that air circuit breaker. So once done, you can go to add, um, and you will see it will add it into the um, single line diagram for you. So you've got your air circuit breaker installed now. Then if you go to the right, um, there's a lot of information in here as well 
that you can add to the um, onto your, your drawings actually. So you've got different applications. Um, there's different options for you to add in. If it's for a computer room, you can call it a computer room. You can um, different options that you can can use there. If you do not find something that you want to put there, you can actually again put in whatever you want to include in the um, application field. There. I just want to see my ACP is actually the wrong way, wrong place. So that's the advantage of the product. So I can actually um, move it to my main circuit breaker uh, position um, because that's the way the, the power will flow to the main incumbent. And again, it's actually moved my application name as well uh, to tell you what it, what it is. So normally, um, after a multi circuit breaker, you will go into adding your um, multi circuit breakers after the, the ACB. So again, you can click on the block where you want to add your multi circuit breaker in, go to the catalog function again. Um, again, if you do not know the reference number that you would like to use, you can go through the Hager guide can go and select multi-k circuit breakers. It will ask you what current rating you would like. So let's go for 650 amp product, um, 50 ka uh, product, um, LSI product. Uh, so something that I've um, maybe didn't mention when we did the, the application for the ACP is that if you see the product code at the bottom, it will um, show you an I next to it. So the I is uh, for information. So when you do click on the on the I, it will pop up um, more information regarding the, the product. This is actually the data sheet of the specific um, Mosaic circuit breaker. You can from here then actually go into print the technical data sheet of the product. Is there anything specifically that you would like to see or present to your um, customer? It's uh, also available to, to, be, to do that. Um, it also gives you the instruction um, manual, which makes this whole um, HakerCAD that just that much more um, user-friendly and more professional, as you can see the uh, quality of the information you get out of AgerCAD. You can then send all of those data sheets and information to your customer um, for his approval. And again, um, after it selected the, the product, it will actually tell you that um, again, all the, the accessories that can go with it, the accessories of salaries, motorized units, the auxiliaries, um, do you want the rotary handle, um, mechanical interlocks is available. So what do you want additional in this product? Um, you can then select and add it to your product. So for interest sake, let's add a uh, shunt trip to the product. Click on the plus sign. And, and again, even on the, the products as well, it shows your eye. Um, again, information about the product. If there's an uh, instruction manual available, uh, if you want a data sheet, it's, it's all, all the product. So by adding it, it will put it in the, the block that you've selected for the specific product. And again, you can go and change the, the name of the, the product, what it's feeding, um, as to your requirements, whatever you wanna, wanna use it for. Um, automatic garage door at 630 amps sounds like a massive door to me. But in any case, it's your choice what you, what you want to put in there. Um, you can then, after your modern case circuit breaker, include a um, miniature circuit breaker if you want to go a little bit smaller. Um, again, if you in your um, catalog part of it, and let's say for interest sake, uh, you now know the reference number of the specific product, you can go and you can go and add in the, the product number um, for that. 
and select. And again, there's the, the information. Um, sorry, I just went off my uh, catalog icon. Um, and you'll see at the bottom, I've selected the picture. So that's why my picture appears every time there. But if it's mm -hmm. irritating to you, you can actually switch it off if you don't want to see the picture. But you can always um, add it in depending on what you want. And again, you've got your, your eye for information, data sheets, um, more information about the product if you need some of them. Um, do you want to add accessories to the product? Is earth leakage add on earth leakage is available, shunt trips, over voltage relays, um, auxiliary contacts for the specific product if you, if you want to. So you can then say add um, the product. At the bottom, you'll see that it gives you a one there, but you can always go and plus that. So for interest sake, you want to put in uh, 10 of them. You can actually plus, 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 or 10, or you can actually just type in 10, and it will um, add 10 products for you. So you go add, and it will put 10 products underneath your mother case circuit breaker for you. So let's say I've uh, made a mistake and I don't want 10, I actually want 9. You can go back onto the product and uh, physically delete it. And it's gone, you've got only nine. But also for the same thing is, let's say under that uh, 2,500 amp um, the circuit breaker, you're going to have two 630 amp uh, Moloke circuit breakers. And under both those six thirties, you're gonna have nine uh, miniature circuit breakers. Um, two ways to do this, you can either go click on where you want to put your next Moloke circuit breaker, go to your catalog, go through the whole process by selecting the Moloke circuit breaker, add it into your um, design, or alternatively what you can do is you can select the products, you can copy it, and then you can paste it. It will then add exactly the same as what was on top of the, uh, or what was in the first uh, application. Um, so after this, you can then start adding more and more products to this, um, depending on, again, on, on the, the design. Just want to explain to you that the um, red lines that you see in this uh, table of diagrams, these red lines are actually an indication of the um, number of A4 pages that uh, is going to print on. So this HagerCAD is actually working A4 pages. So what this means is that this will be page one, and then we go over to a second page, and then over to a third page. So that's all that these red lines um, are indicating. If you want to see the different pages individually, um, on top you'll see a table of diagram. This is the, the single line diagram that uh, we are working currently. If you then go to diagram, it will actually show you the multi-line diagram that we have selected in the beginning, um, saying that it must be an assisted multi-line diagram. And so this is page one. And then on the left, you can see you can go to page two, and uh, you can also go to page three. And the further you go into this, obviously the more pages there will be for you. Um, you can, after this, uh, let's add in a few more products, just for um, the fun of it. I'm gonna add in a few uh, single face products. Uh, add, and we can add, uh, let's go for one. Okay. You've added one single face product in that, but you realize that, oh, shocks, um, in front of this uh, single face product is actually supposed to be a single face earth leakage device. So, what you can do is you can then just click on the, the product, select it, and then move it if it's wrong. So what happened now is actually um, put it underneath the molded case circuit breaker. 
What you now can do is you can add in your single phase earth leakage device. Again, you can use either the, the Hager guide to go through the product, or if you know the product code, you can just select the product code, find it, add it, and then again add at the bottom, and it will add it in there, and hopefully it will link my miniature circuit breaker to the um, earth leakage device that I've got there. Um, and as we know in, in a lot of projects, what happened is that the design keep on changing. So now you realize that one um, circuit breaker under my earth leakage device is not enough. So I want to um, add more of them. So you can again either go to the catalog, search it there, put it in, or you can go um, copy and uh, paste it where you want to, to have it. One, or you want to add another one, um, it's all for you to use. Um, so again, it put the product in the wrong place because I didn't select the, the correct block for it. All that you do is you click on it, select it, and you drag it to the position where you want it to be. So again, very versatile um, product. Um, again, you've realized that this is what the customer wants, but he wants it actually more than once in the design. So again, you can go and copy and paste them as many times as what's required from the, the consulting engineer. So there you go. So now we've got all the products um, in, the, in the design. <coughs> Sorry, my throat is getting dry. Um, so after you've done this, you realize that this product, I've uh, put in there a um, 63 amp product, but I actually want to change it to something a little bit smaller. Um, so you can then click on it. You can go to modify. It will pop up the, the catalog section for you um, with the different options available. You can change the fault level if you need to. You can stick to the single pole product. You can change the, the current rating of the product. So I'm going to change it to a 20 amp. Um, you can choose the different uh, tripping curves of the, the miniature circuit breaker. Um, C is the, the norm that, that is used in the industry. Um, B is um, a fast uh, tripping um, circuit breaker for more uh, delicate products or uh, equipment. And then D is obviously the, the, slow, the slower tripping uh, curve uh, circuit breaker where um, it's more for motor starting applications. And again, if you want to add some auxiliaries or accessories to the products, it will pop up underneath the product and you can just go and modify it. So what Hacker can also do in the background is that it will actually um, look at the, the circuit breaker that's in the application um, and calculate the terminal for that specific um, size circuit breaker. Uh, so now we've done the, the single line diagram. Um, we can go to the, the diagram and you can have a look there and uh, make some changes if need be in the diagram and look at the different pages um, that was done. Okay, so now we've, we've sort of done the design and obviously this, this can go a lot bigger um, for a lot longer and you can add a huge amount of products. You can um, add the applications if you, if you need to, um, if you want to do that, it's all um, possible. But Going to the enclosure now, now you need to think, so what size enclosure would I need for all these products? And this is where the magic actually happens within Hager uh, CAD the software. Uh, instead of you trying to go through the EM catalog, going page by page, look at the dimensions. What size do I need? Um, what's the reference number for the site plate? What's the reference number for the print? How deep must this panel be? Um, so Hager CAD does all of this for you. So what you then can do is you can go to the 
enclosure um, and it will start asking you a few questions on uh, or about the enclosure to make it a little bit easier for you. Okay, again, some uh, technical sum up sheets for, for you to play around with and see what will fit best with your um, application. And it says at the bottom, they start the automatic calculation. And that's actually perfectly where we would like to be, um, is for the software to design the panel for us. So we'll go, okay. So what HakerCAD did in the background is it looked at the um, equipment that we want to install inside the, uh, the, the enclosures. Because of the 2,500 amp um, air circuit breaker that we selected to put into the enclosure, uh, it dropped off a lot of the other enclosures available from Hager because the software knows that that ACP cannot fit into a Vega D board, for example, or fit into an audio enclosure that can only go up to 160 amp. It also knows that it will not fit in the Quadro Plus system, um, because Quadro, uh, in the Quadro 5 system, because Quadro 5 can only take up to 630 amp. So the options available is the Quadro Plus uh, from a depth of 600 millimeters. Uh, we also have the 400 millimeter deep one, but for the products that we selected, the 400 deep um, is not gonna be suffice for, for this application. Um, and, and again, um, having the Electromechanica catalog available or handy next to you when you busy doing the design, you will realize that the stock that we carry is mostly the 1.9 meter high um, distribution boards or the Quadro Plus. Um, and not the 2.1 meter, uh, but again, 2.1 uh, meter is available if you need to. So we're gonna select the, the uh, 1.9 meter high with a depth of 600 millimeters. Um, if, you, if you're working on smaller distribution boards and uh, you prefer an IP65 rated board, um, you can then select the different uh, classifications if you want to, you can go up to IP, uh, IP65 if you want to. And obviously, if you select the IP rating, um, it will drop off some of the distribution boards that won't be able to do that. IK rating um, is the, I also want to say the strength of the distribution board. The Quattro Plus is the IP10 rated, which is very, very strong and very robust. Can handle um, a huge amount of uh, impact. Um, you can select the different um, spare modules, uh, reserve if you want to call it that. Um, you can select the reserve modules in module number wise or in um, percentage wise. You can select the, the terminal, um, spare terminals at the bottom or the top of your, your panel if you would like to do that. I'm going to next. Okay, something says to me that you guys aren't seeing the, all the pop-up blocks coming up with all the questions. Um, so I'm getting on here and you can't even see, see all the stuff. Um, so let me finish this and show you what the distribution board would look like after selecting all the required um, information. It will ask you about the uh, transparent door, plain door, um, whether you want a single base or double base in the product. Sorry, uh, I'm running through this to get to the, where you can actually physically see the enclosure.
So I selected the, the Quadro Plus as mentioned. Um, and uh, so with all the information that I um, gave uh, Hager Cat, um, that unfortunately you guys apparently couldn't see, I uh, apologize for that. So here's the, the enclosure that was, was selected. Um, from here again, you can start playing and do some changes. Uh, I selected the, the bus pass systems for uh, transfer bus pass. You've got your A circuit breaker in there. You've got your model case circuit breaker, miniature circuit breakers, some smaller bus bar um, options for you. And uh, a nice feature, again, of this is that um, looking at the design in front of you, you, I know that these products are hanging in the air there. So there's some products missing from um, the, the panel itself. So if you go to your um, layout on top, there's a function called uh, autocomplete. We can actually go autocomplete and it will pop up a, a question and you can just say, oh, please finish the product for me. And it will give you all the um, accessories needed to finish the, the project. It will add in the, the joining kits for it. It will add in the functional uprights for you to be able to put your um, plates on, on that for the, the mullet case and for the miniature circuit breakers. Um, it will include the uh, bus pass supports for you as well. So all the work already done, um, trying to set and calculate all of this, this manually. Um, so there's your, your whole design. Again, um, if you are not happy with the, the design and you would like to change the, the layout of this, you are also welcome to do that. Um, so I just quickly want to add in the, the front plates so you can see what the, the front plates would look like um, before start moving the, the products around. Because what's going to happen is if I select um, the Molokai circuit breaker and I would like to move it, um, it will not allow me to move it because there's stuff already in, in that position there. So what you can do is you can then actually Select it. In this case, I'm just going to delete it totally uh, because there's another feature that I would like to show you. Now you can take your model case circuit breaker that you want to move. You'll see it indicates blue dots. All the blue dots is actually where this product can be fitted. So again, your choice where you want to add it. So I want to add it in the middle there just to make it a little bit complicated. Um, this miniature circuit breakers, I want to move up into that position there and okay now i'm more or less happy with my my design how and where i want my products um, keep in mind that the software does the calculation according to the um, single line diagram that that we did um, but in practice you may need to change some of the products because on site um, you would like the acp to be on the other side of the panel or the mother case circuit breaker, you know the cable leaks on the, the right hand side and not on the left side. So um, you need to, to, your capability is there for you to move the products around to suit the um, installation as well. So now you've got your, your panel um, in front of you, you can see what's going for what. And uh, you've got some open spaces here now. So again, to figure out the blank that goes into these spots, you can go back to your catalog. So your catalog will follow you through the whole process, it stays at the same position. So you can go again through this whole um, main switchboard, uh, enclosures, go and look for the panel. Oh, I selected the wrong one. Go back and forth, back and forth. Or you can go to the tool section, um, auto covering, uh, automatic covering function and you just tell it to pull the empty spaces for you and the job done. So everything is there. You're happy with this, but you still would like to see inside the panel, um, what's my spacing? 
behind the ICP? Is that sufficient for my application? Where's my bus pass um, in this um, situation? So you can go to the, the layout option of it. You can go to um, have a look at the, the different views from the side, uh, from the top, what the panel would look like. You can um, go to the isometric view of the panel. So isometric view is the three-dimensional view of the product. You can swing this product upside down, around, left to right, look from the side, look from the bottom, um, the way you want to. And by doing this, you need the arrows on your, on your keyboard and you can start looking at uh, the panel of where the ACP is. Is there space for my pass pass at the back? Is the panel deep enough? Um, you can select to have to look at the, the design without the, the front plates and the doors. And again, you can look at all the, the different uh, views to see if this will be, uh, the design will work for, for you. Um, you can select um, if you want to see it with only the front plates, you can select to have it with the, the external doors. Um, again, it's all flexible to, to the view that you want to wanna see. Um, so from here, you can also do the uh, calculation and your um, quotation from 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 here, it will also um, allow you to print this design and send it to your customer um, to make sure that he understands that uh, what you talked about is what he saw and you can actually then sign off on your design, um, just ensuring that there's no um, errors afterwards or complaints to say, but you said the panel would look like this and at least you can give him an indication of what the panel would look like. So on the top, there's what they call group printing. Um, you can go to group printing and it will actually ask you what you would like to print, um, the, the, which panel. And obviously there's a lot of panels, but you don't want all the panels. You can only select the selected few that you would like to, to print. On the right hand side, is all the options that you can add into the, the print. Um, obviously, this will print to PDF, and the, the more you select, the longer it will take for the design to, to print that for you. So I've just selected two items, just to give you an indication of what your, your PDF print would um, look like. So hopefully you will see the the PDF print once it's, uh, it's done. Um, you can add in the, from here you can, from, on the print, um, PDF print, you can add in the pricing, you can add in the bill of material, um, all the different types of, of views um, as well. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, doesn't look like it. I'll take that away. Um, so you've got the PDF print now and you can send that to your customer. Coming back, he can then inform you this here, but I don't want this, I don't want that. Um, can we move this to that way? And you can come back to the design and then, then change according to, to the requirements. Uh, for quotation purposes, uh, HagerCAD is also very easy for that. You can go to quotation. Um, in quotation, unfortunately, you will not see it on, on my screen um, because I have uh, took out the, the pricing, the price list for my software um, for the purpose of downloading um, technical data sheets. Because in the technical, if the price list is in there, it will actually print the price for you on the technical data sheet as well. Um, and then every time we've got a, there's a price change or something, we need to redo all of that. Um, but when you do include the, the price list, the electromechanical uh, price list, it will actually give you your pricing per unit. And from here, it will um, give you a lot of other additional information. 
that you can add if you want to add in labor cost, um, maybe consumables. Um, that's all capable, uh, Eigencast is all um, capable of doing that as well. And then you can give your customer a full comprehensive quote on exactly what consumables is, what the labor part of it is, what the copper part of it is. Um, it will also give you an indication of the, the time frame that uh, it will take you to, to build the panel. Um, you can also from here go to quotation. You can actually export this um, into uh, Excel format and uh, work from there. If that is what you, you prefer doing. Um, what the, the software will also do that is really nice is if you go to the labeling part of it, it will also do the labels for you according to the size of your, your product. Uh, so it will print the, the name of the incomer or the, um, where it's going to or the feeder name of it that you gave it um, according to the size of the product already. Um, the numbering will be in there. Um, so as you can see, we call it West Wing. It's already there. Um, if you decide that uh, you picked up from here that it's incorrect, you can actually change it here as well. Um, and what it will do is all the changes you've made here will actually reflect back into the um, diagram as well for you. Um, so no need to remember that I need to go back um, to change something um, on my enclosure. Um, so, in, in short, this is more or less the, the capabilities of Maker Cat. Um, as I mentioned earlier, is that the, the software is a multi point um, software. So, I'm not sure about the timing. Let me see. Maybe I can quickly show you. I've got another 10 minutes or so. So, let me show you the, the capability of um, doing uh, another enclosure. But don't start from the diagram, I'll start from the enclosure side of it, just to show that that's also possible. So what I'll do is I'll go to the um, name of my project, I'll add in another board, and I will call it DB1. I can go to DB1, and I will start that I wanna work from the enclosure. Okay, so now there's no automatic um, calculation for this because I haven't done a single line diagram. So the software doesn't know what you actually want to put into your distribution board or what TV you actually want. So again, um, the catalog is there. So you can start from the catalog. If you don't know what um, you require, uh, you can go to either the small enclosures or you can go to the big enclosures. We'll start off with a quadro cabinet. We'll do the quadro plus again. Um, again, all the different variations that's uh, possible for you. So we'll select a 700 millimeter wide panel. And the same as like in the air circuit breakers, there's some indication there that you need. So it asks you the top and bottom um, products that you need. So put in a plain plate. Um, I would like to have a transparent door because this always looks better, in my opinion, although the cost might, might be a little bit higher. I also want to include the, the plinth on the product. Okay, so yes, all the products that's been added onto my panel, I can then go to to add, and there's my enclosure. Okay. With the glass door. Again, if you wanna have a look at your panel without the external door and with just the front plates, um, there you can see it. Again, there's nothing in it. So I want to include a um, multi-case circuit breaker. So, again, as I said, the easiest way to do this and we'll most probably get the best results is if you take the Electromechanica catalog, you look at the, the products that's available from Electromechanica, you go to um, Hager search, 
and you put in the reference number that you found in the cat log for um, your requirements. So now you know that because uh, Dave, the founder of Electromechanica, is that if uh, the products in the cat logs, he would like to have it in the warehouse. So do we get it right? Um, I think Electromechanica is kind of right most of the time. Um, so you can go add the product. Add. So what happens now is, is that the product, there's no blue spot for me to actually put this product. So what you can do is you can then select it, right click on it, and it will ask, there's a function called um, search and fitted kit. So you can go search and fitted kit. It will ask you um, which adapter plate you would um, prefer. You can go select. And again, where the blue dots are is where you can actually install this product wherever you want to, okay? There's your mounting plate for it. You can then take your model case circuit breaker and then add it into your, into your board. Again, as you can see, there's no functional uprights for this. So you cannot actually put this product in there. It's hanging in the air. Um, and you need to uh, ask the, the software to actually auto-complete this for you. Again, you can go to layout. You can actually ask it to auto-complete. And there you go. So again, if you look at, at this now with the, the front plates on, you will see that there's a lot of open space um, that you need to close. Um, again, you can go to tools, auto covering, full empty spaces, and there you go. No need to sit down and try and figure out which plates will work, um, where, what size, and how many do I require. This is all done for you. This is just a, a, a short explanation of what's capable in the, um, in the software. Christo, there's a, there's a call, uh, there's a message from Thomas to say, how do we incorporate the control CCT? How do you? How do you incorporate the control CCT? There's a question from Thomas Medembo. Um, to, to do a control circuit is you can go to your, your diagram, okay, um, and then in the multi-line one, you can start playing around in there and changing the, the control circuit. So I just quickly want to run through this thing, asking me a lot of questions quickly. So when you're in, in, in your um, diagram, you can add uh, control circuits uh, due to the option of adding um, control circuits to your to your software. The functionality is, is there when you when you need it. Hopefully, I've I've answered the, the question. Um, you can always email me or send me your contact details, and uh, we can always take this offline, and I can try and explain to you um, or come and see you one way or the other, and uh, we can play around with it and show you what the, the capabilities are if you would like to add it. Um, it's what I've mentioned earlier is that the, the easiest way to, to do uh, a design is to use the assisted multi-line and then after that, after you've done the whole design, you want to add in the control, then switch over to the um, manual multi-line and uh, then change the designs with you, what you need to. Um, multi -manual, uh, multi or the manual um, capability of it is that you can do your own design, you can save it and then use it for the next um, design as well. Okay. Um, I think we are running out of, out of time. Um, are there any, any other questions that we can answer?
Okay. Uh, Christo, it doesn't look like there's any other questions or chats coming through. Uh, there's no raised hands either. But, so I uh, think we can get questions. I think everybody's got our, our contact details. So if they, they want to, they're more than welcome to um, send an email and uh, we'll see what we can do to assist them afterwards and actually come to their premises and, and do a presentation. Perfect. So um, we've also made a note of Christo's contact details on the right hand side of the chat. So it's Christo R at em.co.za. Alternatively, you can email the Electromechanica email address at info at em.co.za and we will follow up as quickly as possible with that. Christo, I don't know if you want to take them through the Hager CAD page on the website. So um, the, the HagerCAD software is um, a free software that you can download from the um, Electromechanical website. Um, if you go to the enclosure part of it, you'll see a link to HagerCAD. If you go to, to HagerCAD, um, you'll see that uh, this is the screen that you will see and at the bottom there is the download, download function. We can download the, the HagerCAD software. Um, the only requirements is that you do need to register the software within 30 days. They will send you activation code um, and then you can do the designs as you want. Uh, no, even the registration of the software is uh, free and uh, you're more than welcome to contact me if you need any assistance after that. And we can try and do either a uh, Zoom training session and explain to you what there is to the software. Um, there's a lot more to this than actually what I did now. Um, you can show you the estimated time of uh, assembling the products, um, installing it, do the wiring. And all of this is also um, changeable. If you want to change and put your own timing in there, uh, the software is capable of doing that. But for any other things, you can be more than welcome to, to contact us. Okay, great. Well, thank you for the very informative presentation, Christo. Um, we hope you all enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, just so you know, there is a list of upcoming webinars. It is available on the EM website. If you navigate to the training page, you will see a list of upcoming webinars. So next on our list, we've got a SOCOMEC webinar on transfer switching equipment and application needs. That's happening Thursday, the 23rd of July. Then we have Lovato Power Meeting Solutions. That's Thursday, the 30th of July. And then another SOCOMEC webinar on transfer switching architecture. That's happening Thursday, the 6th of August. Uh, so if you navigate to the EM website, as I mentioned, the training tab, you'll be able to register for each of those webinars there. Uh, you can also keep an eye on that page for, for all upcoming webinars. They are listed there. And um, yes, well, we hope you've, you've enjoyed the presentation. If you do have any queries, as mentioned previously, please direct them either to info at em.co.za or to Christo directly. All information on HagerCAD is available on the on the website, uh, if you navigate to the uh, enclosures and climate control tab, uh, you'll see there's a HagerCAD link there. And the brochure as well as the software is all available for download as well as any other uh, information pertaining to HagerCAD. Okay, so um, next we've got a, a, a poll. So if you wouldn't mind just staying on for an extra three to four minutes, we've got a couple of questions that uh, would really assist us in taking these webinars to the next level and creating a better user experience for yourself. So if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to uh, launch the poll now and uh, assist us with answering these questions. But other than that, we hope you enjoyed the webinar and have a great day further. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, everybody.